So, see, our faith in God is what is important because sometimes you can look at, maybe you don't have the knowledge to have faith, but you know God. You understand what I mean by that? Yeah. That you can, you can have faith in God. I know God is good. I know he didn't do this. I know if he's done anything, he's going to do this. Why? Because I know God is good. You might not know the scripture that tells you God will do that thing. But because you know him and his goodness, he'll do that thing. Amen? See, we, we've got to quit using faith like currency. I've actually heard it called that. That faith is a currency of heaven. That if you get enough faith, you can get anything in heaven. Well, there is truth to that, but that statement is not truth. Amen? Because it's not currency. Because Jesus never said, if you have enough faith. So if faith was currency, he would have had to say, you have to have enough. Why? Because we have, just like we have currency here in the United States, you know, $1 bills, 5, 10s, 20s, all the way up. And so people say, well, I, I can't afford that. I don't have enough money. That's how people talk about faith. I don't know if I can get that because I don't know if I have enough faith for that. And the sad part about that is when people say, I don't know if I have enough faith for it, what they're really saying is, I don't know if I can trust God to keep his word. So when you say, I don't have enough faith, you're actually saying, God could be a liar. That's what you're saying. So please don't ever say that. Trust him. Right? You have enough faith. Okay. If you got born again, you had faith to get born again. And if you had faith to get born again, which is the greatest thing that will ever happen in your life, then you have enough faith for anything else. So it's not a matter of how much. Amen? The real key to faith is really simple. It's perseverance. That, that's really what it comes down to. Why? Because Jesus said, he that endures to the end. He that endures to the end. In other words, he said, if you have faith, you will say. He said, if you have faith like a seed. Well, what does a seed do? A seed, he said, he even used it with the mustard seed. And he said, this is the smallest of all seeds. And if you have faith like this seed, if you have the smallest faith that you can possibly have, you can still move a mountain. So it's not volume. It's not size of faith. It's, it's once you plant that seed, you don't dig it up every day to check on it. Well, you know, I, I, I believe by stripes I'm healed. But, you know, I still feel sick. So, I don't know, maybe not. Let me, let me dig up that seed. So, you just dug up the seed. No, but, but, you know, okay, now let me get focused. Now, by his stripes, I'm healed. Okay, you just plant it again. But the key is to leave that seed in the ground until it produces. Now, sometimes it can produce instant. Sometimes it can produce in an hour, sometimes in a day. Some people, I, I know of some people that their faith produced after years, but that shouldn't be. Amen? It shouldn't be years, but usually whenever I investigate, the reason it took years was because they kept digging it up and replanting it. So every day they're starting over again, every day, and, and they're constantly wavering back and forth. And then when they finally settled it and said, this, that's mine, it happens quick. <laughs> 